What's up everybody, Steve here. I hope you are doing well today. I have to spend a few hours sitting in my truck here because we have a commercial inspection and uh, these guys are over here. We got about a 10,000 square foot building that needs a, uh, a pretty comprehensive inspection on the property. So uh, I figured I'd just make a quick video pertaining to ways people can be scammed if you're buying real estate, I think it's very important that people are at least aware of this. And furthermore, I think it's important to have the right people around you when you guys are buying or selling real estate, like a good real estate agent or a good uh, real estate attorney or a good title company. So the first thing we're gonna talk about, which is going rampant is wire fraud. So essentially what's happening is people, for example, they'll uh, send in their escrow deposit to tie up a property. So let's say they put $10,000, they wire that where they think that they're wiring it to a title company or an attorney's office, but it turns out they have wrong wiring instructions and it actually goes to these fraudsters. Now, a recent story that came to light was a, uh, a buddy of mine, he, um, he had a, uh, a client who was buying a piece of real estate and something happened where this guy, the buyer, he um, uh, somehow he, his computer got hacked. And this is how sophisticated these companies are getting. So his, uh, his computer gets hacked and basically they are monitoring all the email correspondences going from the buyer to the real estate agents to the attorneys and everything else. So this guy, these spammers or these scammers, what they did was they literally created uh, email addresses that looked like it was from the attorney's office, and they sent the email address or sent from this new created, newly created email address that appears like it's from the attorney's office to the buyer, saying, "Hey, look, you're getting ready to close. Here's the wiring instructions. Wire, and I believe it's about a half million bucks." to wire over the remaining amount of money to close the deal. So he didn't think anything of it. He took the wire instructions, went to his bank, wired $500,000, and it was gone and never to be seen again. Now, this leads me into my next thing pertaining to wire fraud, is it's very important when you get wiring instructions, whether it's for your escrow deposit or your down payment, what it, anytime you're wiring anything, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna, um, when you get the wiring instructions, usually if it's coming from an attorney's office, usually it's encrypted, but regardless, let's say it is encrypted email, you're gonna take those wiring instructions and then you're gonna call the attorney's office, but do not call the uh, phone number that's on that email. What you wanna do is you wanna actually pull up their, um, their website, get the direct phone number, make sure it is the right phone number, call the attorney's office or title company, say that you received wiring instructions and you want them to read the wiring instructions, the, uh, the, the numbers, the account numbers, the bank, all of that, and make sure it lines up with the wiring instructions that you guys received. If it doesn't, then you guys could possibly fall victim of wire fraud scam. Now, the second way people get scammed are by fake listings. Now, a lot of times we see prominently um, fake listings for rentals, but also for lease to own and even properties for sale. Realtor.com is fed by real estate agents, so that's probably one of the safer sites that you guys could search for real estate. But um, if you're looking off of Zillow, if you're looking off of Craigslist, if you're looking off of um, a Facebook marketplace, what these scammers do is they put listings out there and they say, for example, this property is available for a lease. It's um, $1,600 a month and we're gonna need first, last, and security deposit and you're gonna wire it to this, this address and you're, you're, you're good to go and you're gonna be able to lock it in. Now, what can you find, what, what can you do to look out for these scammers? Basically, go with the rule of thumb. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. And I see it all the time where you have rental properties that they're way below market rent and it just doesn't make sense. So people get all excited and that's what these scammers do. 
they know if they put put a price that's very very competitive that they're not just going to scam one person but they're going to scam dozens and dozens of people and also unfortunately you have to be weary another story here locally um, a lady she was not necessarily in the area where this uh, listing was taking place but she had it listed on the market it was competitively priced it was actually for a 1.2 acre lot and uh, basically it was priced really well she was getting a bunch of activity and it turns out and again it was a vacant lot it turns out this scammer basically contacted this real estate agent to list the property she's never met this person everything was done through email there's not even any phone conversation the scammer emailed her and said hey i want you to list this property for us and that's what she did she got the listing agreement signed and everything else falsified the, uh, the scammer falsified the signature of the owner and she put it out on the open market and luckily um, when it went into contract the title company caught uh, basically caught the scam in in motion the third thing is title fraud I did another video you guys can watch that I'll put in the link for you guys as well and put it on the end screen for you but basically it's title fraud so usually this happens when properties are free and clear and they don't have any debt because what these title scammers do is they basically do what's called a quick claim deed and they deed it over to a company or a fictitious name and they forge the signatures and basically take ownership of the property and what they'll do is then they'll take liens out on the property so they'll take you know say a hundred two hundred five hundred thousand dollar lien against the property they'll cash out on that property and they'll take off and then you as the owner are stuck there with a lien against your property that you didn't sign up for the next thing we saw it in the last real estate crash and i think that we're going to see more of this as time progresses and people are going to enter into hardship but it's a, it was a big scam back then and I foresee it's gonna happen again, but it's basically foreclosure relief scam. And what these scammers do is they, uh, they market and say, look, we can uh, help you avoid foreclosure. And all you need to do is send us this big upfront fee and we'll go ahead and work on your behalf. And lastly, predatory lending. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, look, the, the financing market is good. You know, there's no more predatory lending and everything else, but there are, and there's actually companies out there. What they do is they take a, again, a large upfront fee. Um, I saw this happen to a couple of, friend of my, friends of mine on commercial real estate products where uh, they took significant, significant money to, um, as you know, basically a underwriting fee, one of which was like 20 something thousand bucks up front. And um, what they do is they take that money and they never give you the financing and they say, look, it's non-refundable regardless. And uh, people have gotten away with taking a lot of money from a lot of people, unfortunately. I'm out of here. You done? I just did the ADA in the phase one for him. Oh, right on. Uh, That's good news. It is good. So I think we're gonna be okay on phase one unless one of these other properties is dumping something. Gotcha, okay. We'll find that out in a day or so. Beautiful. As always, be sure you guys find the right professionals in your area if you guys are investing in real estate. Always be cautious, always be weary, and always double check, triple check what you guys are getting yourselves into, especially when you are dispersing large amounts of money. And um, I appreciate you guys being here and watch that next video I'll put in the description below for you guys. Thanks a lot for being here.